Thank you. As the Omicron surge grips Massachusetts and the country, federal health regulators are moving forward when it comes to protecting kids from the virus. Joining us to answer your questions about what this means is Dr. Helen Boucher, interim uh, dean of Tufts University School of Medicine and an infectious disease specialist at Tufts Medical Center. Doctor, thanks for being here with us. We want to get to the thing that now that the CDC has signed off, kids as young as age as 12 could start getting those COVID boosters as early as today. How important is that move now? Well, good morning. You know, this is really good news and this is progress towards getting all of our population vaccinated and that's how we're going to get out of this thing. So really good news for those kids and their parents today. Now, yesterday, the CDC stopped just short of saying that fully vaccinated would include being boosted. So why are they hesitating on this, do you think? And is it really just a matter of time here? Well, I don't really see this as a hesitation. The CDC is focusing their attention and our attention on being up to date with vaccination. That means getting all the vaccines for which we're eligible. And that's really their role as public health you know, leaders is to make sure that we, all of us in the population, are up to date with our vaccines. The kind of technical definition of fully vaccinated is more of a thing that's used for work and other kinds of things, and that will likely follow, but but hasn't yet uh, come along. Doc, we used to hear the, a lot of talk about herd immunity ending the pandemic. Now, as we navigate yet another surge, many people are just asking, what's it going to take? What, what's your view on that? Well, it's still going to take the same thing, right? The transmission has to stop. And how we get there is still, honestly, not totally clear. But most of us think that COVID is going to be with us, that it's going to become what we call endemic. So we're going to learn to live with it. But it'll be more like a flu or another kind of virus that maybe comes in the winter and maybe we get vaccinated with some regularity. But the key way we get there is the same. That's vaccinating everybody here and around the world because we know that we're not safe until everyone is safe. And Dr. Helen Boucher with Tufts Medical Center, thank you as always for helping guide us through all of these changes happening right now. Thank you.